I'm here with Dave Dyson, CEO of 3UK. Thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure. How is 3UK progressing with its 4G mobile broadband network? Uh, we're doing well. Um, our philosophy has always been around mobile data ever since we started 15 years ago. Uh, 4G gives us uh, a better opportunity to make the most out of the spectrum that we have uh, and we're using that in ways that our customers can enjoy mobile broadband. So beyond handsets, uh, we have a home broadband proposition on 4G. Separately from that, we've got a business which is branded Relish, which has much more of a fixed wireless access type uh, business. Uh, they've got 20,000 customers in central London. That's going really well. Um, lots of take up, good speeds, good customer satisfaction. And again, I think really encouraging in terms of what's to come with 5G. And speaking of 5G, mm. um, how are you progressing on that? Very well. We've been preparing for at least two years. We've been working out the Spectrum portfolio that we needed. Uh, we've been in lengthy discussions with um, equipment providers. We've chosen to go with Huawei uh, for the radio network. Uh, and we should be in a position to launch 5G in the second half of next year. And in terms of early tests, mm. uh, what have you learned from those? Uh, early tests are encouraging. Uh, I think particularly uh, the massive MIMO technology. Uh, one of the key concerns about the mid-band spectrum or the sort of 3.5 gigahertz spectrum is that the, the, the coverage footprint would be a lot less than the 1800 or the 2100 spectrum that we have. Uh, but with the extra boost that you can get from that, uh, essentially we can get the same coverage footprint, which means we can use 5G on all of the existing sites without the need to go off and acquire and build new sites. Uh, so you mentioned you were planning to launch in 2019. What's mm -hmm. a realistic roadmap sort of up to then and, and beyond? Well, right now it's a case of getting all of the planning consents that we need for, for new equipment, new antennas. Um, in, in some cases we have to talk to landlords to, to get different rights. So there's a lot of preparatory work going on. Uh, in, in the meantime, uh, the equipment is started to be built, but we obviously then need to go out to site to deploy that equipment. So a lot of legwork needed to, to bring it to life. Um, but we feel that by the middle of the year, uh, we will have progressed sufficiently on, on that front. Um, the big unknown right now is when will the handsets and the terminals be available, but my working assumption is that that will be sometime after the middle of the year. So looking beyond the network, mm. what services, we hear a lot about the services that are going to be provided by 5G, which mm. ones really get you excited that aren't available on LTE? Well, I think LTE, as I said, we, we do offer a home broadband type service, but it is limited in terms of uh, capacity. I'm really excited that 5G will bring a huge amount of capacity uh, into the network, which is great for our mobile customers, but also it does open up different opportunities within the home broadband market. So I'd say that's the most immediate opportunity. Uh, obviously, there's lots of talk about massive IoT and some of the more sci-fi type applications, remote robotics and things like that. That will come. Uh, and, and I think um, things like network slicing uh, are particularly interesting and potentially quite disruptive, uh, which is uh, good, I think, for, for 5G operators. Uh, what is, do you think the challenges are standing in the way of this successful 5G future? Um, there are some broader regulatory challenges, things like net neutrality uh, and the position uh, from the EU are questionable in terms of whether that really does support things like uh, network slicing. Uh, so I think there's a few things that need to be worked through, <clears throat> but broadly, you know, the, the technology I think is in a good place. Excellent. Sounds like an exciting future. It Thanks is. very much. Thank you.